Hello you beautiful bunch, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing week if you're new here. Hello, come on in. It's awesome to have you join us and you're very welcome. Um, so I have my five little nail taps here all ready to go and um, I'm going to be doing um, a recreation set. Um, I had found this, um, this picture on Pinterest and it's by an artist called L-I-V-A, Liva, Liva, Nails. Um, I can't find an Instagram account for this artist, so um, yeah, if I do, I will definitely be linking it below because I thought these designs were amazing. I wanted to recreate them. So um, I'm doing four black nails and one white nail, and then I'm covering them in no wipe top coat. And these here are the stars of the show, in my opinion. This is the neon uh, pigments. This is the Neil Sugar Neon Pigments. And um, I absolutely adore neon pigments. I love, love, love working with them. I think they give such an impact look. I just think they're fun, they're summery, they're bright. I love them, I love them. And what I love about these designs is that you don't have to be a Bob Ross, basically to be able to do them. They're just, they're really sort of, you know, beginner friendly. Um, some of them get a little bit sort of, you know, more difficult as they go along, but um, these are just really simple and amazing for just a feature nail, whether it be on the long nail, short nail. Um, so this here is gel paint that I'm using. It's lovely and pigmented. I just popped it in there for a flash cure, no longer than 10 seconds. And then I've brought it out and I am just dabbing on the pigments with a little sort of flat, um, brush sort of like a little old eyeshadow, eyeshadow type sort of style brush if you will a little applicator brush and uh, I'm just pressing that in pressing it in um, to the flash cured gel paint and um, just filling in that little bit there just make sure that you have sort of all your wee ends and stuff's done and then it'll go in for a fully a, a full cure for a minute and then once it's out as you can see here I just dust it off now, I love this bit because I have used the gel paint I can do that no problem over um, that glossy top coat and it just means that the neon pigments brush off really easily and then I'm just top coating it and then we'll go in for a cure. Okay so on to the second design and again we're working on top of that you know glossy no wipe top coat. This is the gel paint and um, just going to be putting some wee dots. This is really simple but I tell you I absolutely love it. I just love the effectiveness of it. And um, yeah, so it's just basically a little dotting tool. And all you're doing is just placing little dots here and there, um, just sort of like down in a diagonal. I'm kind of doing the hand movements, but I know you guys can't see that. So, <laughs> so sorry, diagonal. Um, in a little sort of diagonal motion. And um, so yeah, I've tried to sort of like, um, cut this video down sort of you know as much as I can but trying to keep in what I can so you guys sort of get the guest off it because I don't want you to obviously sitting for ages watching this but um I just I just love this this is honestly I could work with neon pigments all day every day I think I really could um again flash cure and then I'm just pressing it in and dabbing it on and as you can see there we go it's just oh just love it look at the colors in for the full cure dust it off and I just love dusting it off I just think oh I just love seeing that sort of crispness come around you know where you've got sort of the the neon design and then we just top coat it I was going to matte top coat these but I actually love them glossy I think that they're really really nice glossy now I would say that this is where in fact this particular design here I think was probably the one that I sort of struggled with the most and it seems to be sort of more detail that I sort of struggle with in certain on certain things um, but uh, this is a little pineapple and again you start off it is really simple and easy to do mind um, in terms of you know the the technique of it basically just sort of like a, a semicircle and then going in then with some little lines across the way diagonally and then you're just sort of you know going to do that as well too in the opposite direction um so the pineapple itself is easy enough it was when I got to his little sort of tuft thing <laughs> it just didn't quite 
look the way I wanted it to look. Levers, little sort of, you know, pineapple tuft looks so much nicer than mine. And um, so I need work on my pineapple tuft. <laughs> but there we go. So yeah, this was the bit. And it's kind of, you know, I just sort of done like almost like a moon, you know, half a sort of crescent moon sort of shape. And then just sort of like, you know, where I wanted um, the rest of it to be. But it just, it just didn't translate. I thought, oh, I could have done better with this here. But anyway, hey, sure, that's what practice is all about. So I'll maybe give it another go. But I do want to do another few sets with neon pigments. Um, because obviously it has been a whole year virtually from I've used them. Because I tend to find that once sort of autumn comes, I can get into autumn with them. But then after that, then it's sort of, you know, just... Um, you just get into your sort of, you know, your darker colours and winter nails and then, you know, into the sort of the um, metallics and then the pastels and stuff whenever um, the new year comes around. So I tend to have my seasons of colours and uh, I'm just so happy to have these out again. Just look at those colours. Oh, I love it so much. Um, so, yeah, he, um, again, I was just sort of like, uh, burnishing it into him or patting it into this wee pineapple and then once we've done the full cure then we come out dust them off top coat them and I really think that once you top coat anything it just brings it all together doesn't it it just looks awesome um right on then to the next design now I thought I would struggle with this one much more than the pineapple I really did but actually I didn't um, I was actually really surprised at how much I I got on okay with this. Um, if anything, the pineapple tuft was the, the biggest challenge throughout this. So I kind of surprised myself in that sense that, you know, but anyway. Um, so this here is sort of like a dripping orange type thing. I was going to start, as you can see there, I was kind of going to start the drip sort of freehand. And I thought, no, no, just go in with the dot until and kind of... Um, do it that way you're just going to make life so much easier for yourself and it did because I could sort of place where I wanted the drips and um, as you can see I'm just sort of like joining them up just where the dot is and then rounding off the little edges as well too just to sort of make them more drippy like okay and then moving on to the little segments and I just kind of marked out where I want those to be and then just sort of like you know, aimed for what would be sort of the, the center focus, if you will. So they're all like little triangles or very elongated triangles, very long triangles. Is there a, there's got to be a specific shape name for that. And that's just gone out of my head, you know, a long triangle. There's got to be a proper, a proper shape name for that. Somebody let me know in the comments. What do you call, what is the actual name for a long triangle? <laughs> Um, I'm thinking cake slice. That's where I am. It just goes to show you where my head's going. Anyway, <laughs> our little cake slices. Um, but there we go. The segments are done. I'd flash cured this and again, just patting in the neon pigment. And then we will go in for a full cure when it's all covered and just dust it off. And there we go. Um, dusting it all off there. It looks fab. I just love it. I love it so much. And um, then we're going to just uh, go in and give this a top coat. And then once the top coat is cured, then I went back in with some black gel paint, which you'll see in a moment here. And I just sort of like, you know, add some detail then to the little segments to kind of make them look a bit more, just to give them a bit more detail. So you kind of know it's like a, you know, kind of a really colorful, neon explosion of fruit <laughs> and then we have the final design the final design and this is on the white here so i'm just going to do a blend of all the different colors i'm just patting that in and i sort of sped this up a bit so you can just you know get an idea um i didn't sort of i didn't blend these colors too too much if you do you know what i'm saying I sort of, do, do you see what i'm saying the blend lines aren't too do you get what i mean um because I wanted to sort of give the illusion of a bit of a sort of a, a skyline and sort of the, you know, the lines between the colours in the sky. You know what I mean, right? And uh, again, top coated that with no wipe and then going in then here with the black gel paint, super pigmented. And um, if you want to know what brand of paint I'm using, it's actually Neil Kami and that's the brush with it. Enjoyed using this brush because it's a little bit thicker. Um, 
and uh, so but uh, for any really fine detail work i tend to use obviously the nut mug one but again this palm tree just painting it on now, i could have used nail sugar the nail sugar uh, palm tree silhouettes which would have been really quick really easy um but i wanted to hand paint this one and recreate it exactly as leva has done it so um, I really love doing this design. Really quick and really effective. I was so chuffed at how my free hand came out here with the palm tree. I was really, ch really chuffed. Um, so I really, really like this nail. I just think, wow, can you imagine wearing this for holiday? Just, yeah, that's just the kind of nail that you wanna, you wanna be wearing when you're jetting off into the sunset somewhere. Total tropical holiday vibes. So once that's cured then, Gwen for our final top coat and ta-da there we go that is the full set that is them all in all their glory look at those beautiful colors those beautiful neon colors and like i say i was going to do the matte but i just love them with the glossy top coat i think they are so fun so eye-catching and any of these designs i would love to wear like i said i do need to work though on my little pineapple tuft <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise i really enjoyed this and all credit to leave as nails um thank you so much indeed for the inspiration and thank you guys for joining me don't forget to leave a little hello in the comments below and i will see you all again next time take care take care guys see you soon bye